three, two, one. Count down when you're good. All right, I'm good to go now. Didn't you want to explain that thing? All right. Hello, uh, welcome to Perfect Dark. This is the Xbox Live Arcade uh, port of the game. They took the entire game of Perfect Dark from the N64 and pretty much brought it over to the Xbox. And glorious 1080p and 60 FPS. We want to start things off with a pretty easy to do glitch, but it's also very easy to fail. So if I can't show, show it off right off the bat, I'll, I'll, I'll do the slow method. And I'll try my best of explaining this game is fast pace all the way through not much time for uh, breaks but I'll try my best and uh, I'll go ahead and do the countdown you can start in three two one go good luck thank you all right I failed it soft lock I'll do the slow stretch Uh, basically, there's a very small section of that door where Joanna, the character I play as, uh, can just clip through it and fall to the elevator at the very bottom. On this mission, normally, you're supposed to take a picture of an isotope and wait for a robot to open some lasers for you. I'm going to try and just skip that laser part because it wastes time. The hardest glitch in the game, so if I fail it, it's normal, but I want to go for it anyway. There's a very small window where if you crouch, using another glitch of crouching on slopes, you can float. If you do it correctly, I can just go right between these lasers. Almost. Alright, I've ran out of time. I only have a few tries at it. Now I just gotta wait for that bot. I'll just slaughter these people while waiting. Forty seconds lost, but that's okay. Yeah, pretty much the boring part. Now I get the laser skip when it doesn't save no time, because this is a good game. Alright, next up I have to just uh, stand still and let people shoot at me while I hack a computer to open the door. This is agent, so you don't lose too much health, and with a shield I'm good to go. Uh, now I'll just walk right to the end. I just got to avoid some machine guns that's uh, on the ceiling. And they're pretty easy. Alright, up next, Datadon Extraction. I just gotta kill as many of these people as possible because I have a computer AI following me. And if I don't kill most of these people, he can get shot at and die, which will fail the mission. The more people I leave alive, the better of a chance he has of dying. Alright, normally I'm supposed to go up another elevator to get to the top, but that's slow and boring. I could just open this locked staircase from the other side and skip all that part. I'm going to grab this rocket launcher, excuse me people, and kill all these bodyguards. I'll just go up to the a very specific point on here and the mission's over. Right, now Villa, this is a very straightforward mission. I just gotta snipe some people who's holding that girl hostage. Go to the basement, get, activate some computers and kill kill a bunch of people and then I'm pretty much done. Not much to explain here.
Yeah, the AI in this game is very poor. Like, I can't explain how bad it is. Especially your partners. Alright, I gotta kill all these people or else a key card will not drop that will let me finish the mission. If I miss even one guy, I'll have to go back and find him. Got some miner stuck. Alright, that went smoothly. Alright, up next is Chicago. It's a very short mission. Normally I'm supposed to hack a taxi and have it blow into a undestroyable turret to c catch the attention of some guards, but... Why do that when I can just go straight to catching the attention of the guards themselves? And kill them. Alright, mission's done. Alright, this mission is the introduction of the cloaking device. There will be a couple of cloak guards in that first camp room. It's not too hard though once you've got their patterns, but even in this game, Memorizing all the patterns sometimes doesn't help, but I had some pretty good patterns there, so Gotta kill that one guard because there's one guard on agent here who will alert or turn on the alarm and alert These people who I have to spy on with this objective here if They get alerted. I will fail uh, Now I come up here. I gotta place this door decoder to unlock this safe and just uh, screw around for a minute Basically an unskippable minute we have to wait So I'm allowed to just goof off and do whatever I want These people will spawn almost infinitely for the first 10 minutes or so of this level There's a very neat glitch here where if you kill them, sometimes their weapons fly through the roof. It doesn't help none, but it's funny to see. It doesn't look like I'll get it though. Alright. Gotta wait for that safe to open. Now I'm out of here. Just gotta casually go through a wall while it's blowing up. You know, just perfect dark things. Explosions doesn't bother Joanna at all. Alright, on this mission, I just gotta hit that button. I gotta knock this guy out to get his key card. Set some explosives. And just go right to the end. It's uh, another straightforward mission. Alright, I'm going to kill this guy and that guy, they can throw grenades, I'm going to leave one of them alive in hopes that he will boost me, in this game if you get shot from behind it will boost you forward and save a little bit of time, if you get shot from the front you will get boosted backwards and lose a little bit of time, so whenever it's possible to save time by leaving guards alive to let them shoot at me, I will do that. I'm going to throw a dragon here. If I throw it at the right time, I'll get a little d explosive boost like that. Save just a little bit more time.
Alright, on the other side, I'm hoping to see a scientist because I gotta get his disguise. He could be on the other side, but he's not, so I gotta go up here and manually kill him. Get his lap close. That was about the midway point on uh, being the worst. Alright, on here. I basically gotta kill this guy, get his key card for the last part of the mission. Some boosts on the floor because they will save me a couple of frames per boost. Killed that guy for a key card. That's the location. Now I gotta go and find another partner who is just so amazing at uh, staying alive. His name is Jonathan. What I'm trying to do is eliminating a certain specific guards, and then I'm gonna get Jonathan's attention and try to eliminate the rest of these guards before Jonathan sees them or else he will stop and shoot him with shoot, shoot them and lose a lot of time those guards automatically spawn when you get back alright now this is just another auto scroller I gotta stand here and kill guards for 30 seconds the number that spawn is random because right now Jonathan is placing a bomb on that wall right there to continue the mission there's currently not a way to progress the game unless he does that All right. normally you're supposed to wait and let it blow up manually but as soon as he places that bomb it becomes weak Alright, now we've revived Elvis. We got to make sure he does not get shot at by any means necessary. We gotta let, wait for him to follow Jonathan because he, he likes to take his time. Sometimes he likes to do a little 360 spin there. Tried pushing him. Alright, now it's basically another auto scroller except I gotta push Jonathan up there is a cutscene trigger that will uh, pretty much trigger the last part of the game and pushing Jonathan to this point will help him get to the trigger faster. Then I start leaving at a specific time. Fire a safety grenade there to kill any guards that can shoot at Jonathan. Now I gotta activate these computers and hope that the music glitch does not happen. And the music glitch happened, of course. It's not as bad as it could have been. Sometimes Jonathan will be delayed to start the last portion of the game. In that case, you can't do nothing but just stand there. Alright, on this mission, I, I, I gotta go and knock out this uh, woman and steal her uh, disguise so I can enter this base. Now, mission over. Now, on this mission, I have Elvis. He is a good AI. He is a good partner. 
I, I got to push him to a certain location and then go and revive him later. Story? He has a plot to, uh, against him to, for him to die. So I gotta get him and convince him about the plot. If I leave his line sight, or his eyesight, at any time, or even a pixel, I will fail. Alright, basically I gotta get as far away from the president now as I can. He will ra uh, warp to random points in this mission, and if I do this correctly, I can use that against me to get him to the end faster. I gotta get him all the way to an escape pod, and then the mission will be finished. Oh, this is insane RNG. That mission went really well. Alright, crash site. I want to be doing this mission a bit differently than you would see in a normal run. There's this m mine throw to complete a, an objective where I have to kill the fake president because in this point in the run, the evil corporation that uh, it cloned the president and uh, made him a bad president. So I have to go and kill him and I can kill him with a mine in a specific place, but that is a very hard throw and not marathon safe. So I'm just going to go and do it the normal way. Sorry if my explanation missed. There he is, he's dead. Now I gotta blow up these bots. The real president has also been captured and I cannot get him to move until I blow up all these bots. Right now, there's his captor. And he's free. Now the rest of this mission is determined by how fast the president runs. Sometimes he runs fast, sometimes he likes to take a leisurely stroll. Looks like he's doing a leisurely stroll. There he is. Right, now we just basically wait for the president. This golden magnum can kill in one hit. I wish it was in more missions. All right, the Pelagic Two. There is a very random glitch that I will be attempting. When I, after I complete this objective, I'll be running towards some guards or some uh, scientists to tell them to activate or deactivate something. And if I do it a certain way, sometimes I can skip their speech. It's entirely random though. Normally, you're supposed to have him say, please don't hurt me, he'll deactivate the computer, and then one of them will turn against the other two and pull out a gun, and you kill him, and then you deactivate the second computer. But by knocking out the person who's supposed to pull out the gun, you can skip all that. Alright, now here's the most fun RNG-heavy map in the game. It's all reliant on Elvis. He can make you lose so much time for no reason. On this first half, you gotta hope he kills all these invisible guards and doesn't get stuck in super slow-mo. And I will know how fast he is when I get to the ch checkpoint room. There is absolutely no way to speed up this process. He will either be on time or lose 30 to 40 seconds on this 
first part. Of and we'll find out after I kill these guys. Alright, he was really good. Alright, first part, success. 56 seconds is insane. Alright, for this next part, normally he gives you the far sight, which is a weapon that can shoot, uh, aim through walls and shoot any bad guys. But it's faster to just let him chase you to the objective room, because while he's running after you to give you the weapon, he's running. But if, as soon as he gives you the weapon, he pulls out guns and will shoot any of these miniature aliens that gets in his way. Which obviously loses time. He doesn't pay attention to those aliens, which are Skedar. Hang on. He doesn't pay attention to them while he's running. What you want is for him to not get stuck because even though he doesn't shoot at them, he can still be attacked by them and it's completely random if he gets attacked. I'm going to wait right here for about 7-8 seconds or so and then I'm going to go and check on him. If I don't see him, there's a very good chance he's going to be really slow and cost me up to a minute. Alright, I don't see him right off the bat. And he's that far away. This isn't the worst Elvis, but I still lost probably about 20 seconds here. Uh, basically, you just gotta let him keep chasing you. And then you gotta take him to this objective room right here where he'll hack this computer and open up the rest of the level. Alright, where's that Skedar? There he is. Uh, you do not want to scout our in this room before he uh, says that line he just said, or else he'll lose time by shooting at it to kill it. Uh, now, pretty much straightforward from here. I gotta do one final objective and then finish running to the end. Overall, pretty, pretty decent deep sea. Could have been a lot worse. Alright, after we beat this mission, this is the only unskippable cutscene in the game. We are forced to watch the first 80% of this cutscene. We don't know why. Forced to watch. I guess they like making us know that we just blew up an entire government ship. Right, now the Carrington Institute. The Datadyne Corporation or the bad guys have been invaded and your uh, company and you basically just gotta drive them out. In this mission you see the first use of the combat boost. It will s pretty much slow, da uh, slow down everything around you, keeping you at full speed. Uh, objective 1 completed there. There's a, like a 5% chance or lower that Objective 1 will not complete there and you can lose a lot of time. This mission is very easy to die on if you do even one thing wrong. The weapon they have is so overpowered and they all have a shield which doubles their health. Right now, they planted a big giant alien spaceship with a bomb and I got to defuse the bomb. Basically, you just stand here and hack the bomb away, I guess. Now we turn ourselves invisible with this RCP. And, uh, mission over. Now, at this part of the story, you get knocked out and captured by the aliens, and now you're on their spaceship. Basically, you just got to, uh, get your way out of here as fast as possible. And at the same time, you get the, uh, Elvis, which is the good aliens on your, uh, 
get him on your side. Yay. This is basically another mission that can depend on how fast Elvis is. Gotta s kill specifically four of the uh, Skedar or else this door will not open. If you see him running towards you, he will have a 50% chance of either being slow up here or fast. Doesn't really matter if he's either. I always just hope he's fast though. Okay, so he's slow. See, that's why he's slow. He, he's in a running motion, but for some reason the game acts like he's in a combat boost. Safety kill that Skedar, because as soon as he completes his next objective, he will run the opposite way you did and get himself in danger. Because he is a very smart character. I just gotta go, uh, run up to the roof, kill the rest of the army that's on the ship. Hope Elvis doesn't die. Over. That one went pretty decent. Alright, this is Skedar Ruins. I am now on the Skedar's home world. My objective is to plant these amplifiers so uh, uh, Elvis's race can launch an all out devastating attack on this planet. And then I gotta finish it off by killing the king. These pillars are in order, or in random order. They can be any of a combination of five pillars and I got a I missed that's okay throw throwing is hard in this game they can be in any random combination of out of the five and I gotta hit three of them this one is a better order all right. Normally I'm supposed to push a pillar onto a button on the floor, but I'm going to skip that, hopefully, by getting a boost over that. If I get a boost over that bridge that's supposed to activate when I push the pillar onto a button, the game automatically thinks, hey, there's no other way you could have gotten here except by activating the bridge. So it activates it for you and completes the objective. And that first door I try to open, and not that one, but this one, these are random doors. They can open anywhere between one to seven or eight tries. That second one was insanely good first try. All right, this is the king fight. I gotta get his shields down to green and take out these pillars behind him. You wanna try and get two at once? No, I haven't been able to do that in a while. This fight is over basically uh, when I get that final big pillar in the middle to drop down on him. Alright. This is the end of the main game missions, but this is all 21 missions, which means I get to do the four bonus missions. Where you play as other characters other than Joanna. Take place at specific points in the mission. On this one... Normally you're supposed to push a character all the way up to the roof and capture her, but I'm going to attempt to do a recently found glitch. I say recent, but it was actually 2015, but that's pretty recent for this game. But if everything goes right, I can get her to warp either closer to the top, or I can get her to warp all the way to the top for one frame and complete the objective. And all I have to do 
is go to the objective myself. Either one of those two options will be uh, pretty good. I will be p blowing up a wall to a staircase. Try to push her into it and hope it works. I'll pause buffer to give myself a better chance. Uh oh, I, sc I screwed that up. So we get to push her all the way up to the top. This whole time, your auto aim, for some reason, will aim at her like, like she's a bad guy. And if she dies, you fail the mission, so you got to hope while you're killing the actual bad guys, you don't shoot her. And the uh, enemies can throw in grenades, which can kill her. About, so you gotta watch out for that too. He was about to throw one, so I, I got him. That would have been terrible. And randomly, while she's going up there, she can stop and say something. She can say it. She can do that none all the way up to like ten or more times. I got pretty good RNG this time, and she's stuck on the staircase. Oh god, is she like stuck there permanently? She was stuck there permanently. Nice soft lock. And I was about five seconds away from being done. Good game. Uh, this gives me another try to push her at the staircase. <clears throat> Gotta hope that guard sees you, or else this whole plan is over. There's like a the low chance she doesn't see you. Haven't had it happen in a while. What? Oh, I must have deactivated, uh... I wasn't paying attention, I must have deactivated my cloaking device sometime along the way. Rip. Wow, she's already talked three times. Uh, mission's over. Uh, this next mission, Mayan SOS. I gotta pretty much play perfectly, or else I'll lose 20 seconds. Alright, that was good. There is an elevator at the very end of the level that will close if you don't get there fast enough, and you pretty much have like two seconds, maybe not even two seconds to lose. Very precise, and I gotta hope for no back boosts. It's another straightforward mission. I don't know if I'm. Ah, it's too slow. I'm gonna miss that elevator. There goes 20 seconds. That's going to be the next elevator attempt. It's going to close right before my very eyes. See? Uh, what's weird about this elevator is every other elevator in the game, when you call it, it comes to you. But on this specific elevator, for some reason, at any time, whenever you call it, it will go back up to the top floor and open. 
even if it's just about to open on the level you're on, it will it will close and go back to the top floor <laughs> and open back up. Very poorly designed elevator. Alright, we gotta activate this computer to call a distress signal, and uh, mission's over. Alright. This is coming up mission wars. Basically, kill, uh, going all the way to the uh, one king uh, clone and killing him. Very short mission, then the mission after this, gotta turn around and kill that one person. The time will be as soon as the objective pops up, or objective complete pops up on the screen after I kill the guy on the next mission. Sometimes that door can be open for you, which will save some time. Now I just gotta shoot this king in the head, and I missed. Alright, I got him. Alright, time's coming up soon. Time. Time. That mission duel is just a fun mission, just practice shooting. And you got a, uh, a 3558 lad. Alright, that's not too bad. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. Thank you. Thanks for letting me join this marathon. I hope. Hope oh, more people give this game a shot someday. It's pretty fun. Is that all you got to say? Yep. <laughs> Alright, thanks for the run, bud. No problem. Thank you.